and now work on those skeletal contractors. So to make those guys, we need the solarium, need rotten flesh, and silicon. So rotten flesh and silicon. Could probably use more silicon too. Wow, almost out of sand as well. That's right, the series is about infinite resources. I just don't know if I'll ever get there. All right, that'll get us more silicon. Uh, this should be everything we need for the four we can get right now. So you should be in there. Okay, so there are the four of those I can get right now. And so let's go make four big item filters, if I can now. I need obsidian dust, don't I? All right, let's get some obsidian. We'll get half a stack of that and throw that in the pulverizer. Well, let me look at the recipe real quick. Pulverizer gets you four. Sagmail gets you four, I guess it doesn't matter. So we'll do that. Okay. That ought to be enough of that for now, I'm betting. Okay, let's go see about the rest of this guy. One, two, three, four. All right, so we need one more of those guys, but we can start with the four over here. And then I'll go hunting for skeletons tonight. So we're gonna put a big item filter in you, and you are going to whitelist. What are you gonna whitelist? You're gonna whitelist cyan powder. We do want you to match meta on this. All right, another big item filter, and you are going to allow in prismarine. And then we're going to have you also match prismarine. And finally, you're going to match prismarine, because that is the recipe that we're working on right now. So what I should expect to see when I dump all this stuff in the chest is, let's see, I guess we're doing two empower recipes. So yeah, I should expect to see prismarine on you guys and cyan dye on you, which is what I see, but we are gonna need to have some kind of filter. Hmm, you know what? You never take things out of these guys. You only take things out of the other guys. These do not need to be an extract at all. Only the middle guy needs to be an extract. Okay, so once I fix that, he should be okay. And then we're gonna need two more of these item filters. but we will need uh, one to pull out from there. So it is now sunset, so I'm gonna go dump stuff in my system and go hunting for skeletons. So I'll be back once, uh, you know, I have some. All right, came back from mining trip, got enough skeletal heads to make some more big item filters. So let's work on that. So let's see, we're gonna need an item filter for both you and you. So I'm going to put in palace crystal blocks and get out empowered palace crystal blocks. So there we go. You can take that out. So if I chuck this guy in, he should put this on here. They should get empowered. All right. And when the crystal becomes empowered, 
uh, it gets pulled out, we put more stuff in, and that goes back in the box. So cool, that pretty much works. So let's go ahead and take these tiles and rebuild the floor. And then we can work on using that stuff. Where's my drill guy? So we need three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, I think 15 facades. So we'll see if we can get 15 facades. Let's see, I've got three right now. We're gonna need 12 more. Let's teach this guy how to make facades because they're just super useful. All right, you can make facades now. So, yep, we got enough to make those. So I'm gonna go ahead and ask for 12 more and hope that 15 is the right number. I'm hearing a noise, it sounds like rushing water. Oh, <laughs> it's raining. Hasn't rained in so long in the game that I forgot what it sounded like. Okay, so there we go. Yeah, I might have mathed right. Cool. Well, there we go. Adam Power Room. And we've got an import export chest. So here are our empowered Palace crystals. Or Palace, whatever. I don't know. So let's make some actual editions glass. All right. So how do we do that? Uh, got rid of that and that and that and that. So all we need now are... It's any kind of glass, and have to be blue stained, and any kind of sapling with a palace crystal gets us two. So we can make 36 of these right now. Oh, I need three more, but what, what, what can we get, really? Let's, uh... Okay, we don't have any more glass. We can get 10. Uh, let's see here. And I think I'm out of sand, too. I mean, you know, I'm not out, but... I'm out. I guess we'll get another half stack of glass cooking up and you know hopefully that will take care of everything I need at least for a little while. Alright so let's go dump you in the system and let's try that again. There we go. There we go, 16 of these guys. So my next step is going to be finding some more of those uh, ender lily seeds. So basically what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna run around with my horn of the wild and break grass and uh, hope we get three more. We will eventually, I mean it does take some time because it's a really rare drop but we will get them. So I will be back once I have the ender lily seeds and then I'm debating on whether I want to try to go to the end and get end stone or not. I'm thinking I probably do, but you know, it's not like super necessary or anything. So it wouldn't be like this wouldn't work without it. I mean, the, the glass is what's gonna grow the things. The end stone is kind of incidental. Oh, but there are lots of ender lilies in the end. So, you know what? Let's do that. Let's not break things looking for seeds and the vain hope of a small drop. Let's go to the end because why not? We can do that. Probably. Maybe. We'll see. I haven't been to the end in a long time, so I kind of forget how to get there. But uh, we'll figure it out. So let me go figure out how to get to the end, and I'll come back once uh, we can get there. If I remember my vanilla mechanics correctly, we need to toss these Eye of Enders in the air, and they will rush off in the direction that the thing is, and sometimes they break. And then we'll have to, you know, put them somewhere.
What is happening to my eyes of Ender? Okay. I throw them. They go the direction I need to go. They may or may not come back. Alright. So I do have flight. You know, such that it is. So we'll just go a little bit over here. And we will see if I need to keep going this way. Looks like it. So that one broke. So, you know. At least I can fly over the ocean. Although, honestly, a boat might be better. I'm hoping this thing isn't like, you know, 10,000 blocks away, but honestly, I don't know. I know that if there's like always a fortress somewhere within like, I think, a thousand blocks of spawn. Hey, there's a guardian. I'm hoping there's some land around here somewhere. I do have my boat in my uh, backpack because, you know, that's where boats go, right? In backpacks. Okay. I see some land over here, so I'm going to kind of head towards it and then we'll throw another ender pearl and see where we're at. Surely the fortress is not, you know, underwater. I hope, because I'll have no way, no idea how to get down there if it is. Alright, there we go. Still over here, huh? Okay, well, I see a slime island over there. I guess we'll head towards that. Yeah, let's see what's up on the slime island. Maybe we should gather some slime while we're up there. Slime trees, murder some slime things. Well, hello, blue slime guys. Okay, got my right sword. Got my this kind of sword. And we could, uh... Don't need a tool to harvest these guys, huh? Congealed green slime block. Kind of forget what these things do. Purple slime sapling. Slimy grass does something. Let's you jump really high. You can make slime boots from it. Hey, blue slimy dirt. Isn't that cool? Or blue slime block. Wow. You know, honestly, it's almost annoying. Would my shovel be a better? I know it doesn't require a tool, but would my shovel be faster? Oh yeah, way faster. So what is this? Is this supposed to be water? Uh, I don't think you can harvest that. Oh, yeah, you can actually. Well, I'm going to harvest some of this. And, you know, and then we'll keep looking for that fortress. Okay. Alright, that's uh, enough of that, I think. So, our fortress is over here somewhere. So, I guess we're going to keep going. Alright, so based on the ender pearls, I think the fortress is somewhere beneath me. So, we're going to dig down here. Uh, it's, you know, a little far away. I had to come through the ice plains and over this river and through the ocean and across this island and there's my island and there I am back there. So, you know, we're about 250-110 and we're at uh, 470 1927. so, you know, 1700 blocks away. So, not insurmountable, but uh, a little bit different, a little bit far away. So, I'm going to dig down and see what happens and, uh, yeah. Hopefully, there is a fortress beneath me. Well, there's something interesting. Cracked stone bricks. So, yeah. There we go. We found it. So all I gotta do now is figure out 
uh, where I am and what's attacking me. And then I'll find the end portal. And hopefully, uh, won't need any more than six Ender Pearls, or Eyes of Ender, because that's all I have left. So let me see if I can find that guy, and I'll be back in a little while. Uh, we can explore the fortress, I guess, a little bit. So fortresses are always fun, because they're full of treasure, too. So you never know what you're going to find in here. And, of course, I'm just wandering around aimlessly, so I'm never going to figure out, you know, where I was or anything. Uh, if I wanted these cobwebs, which I don't know if I do, but I know you got to use shears to get them. There's usually a chest in the old abandoned libraries. Here's some stairs, or, you know, a ladder. Do I see any chest? Here's one. What do we have in here? A bronze sword, some bat wings, and some paper. Wow, what a crummy dungeon chest. Oh, there's one. Iridium shards, some enchanted books. Pretty much garbage. Eh, whatever. It's not all going to be gold, you know. Alright, I'm going to keep looking around. Oh, hey, <laughs> here it is. Okay, that thing spawns silverfish. So we're just going to break that guy. Alright, we need eight Eyes of Ender. Well, I guess I have to go back and get more Eyes of Ender then, because I don't have eight. I only have six left. I thought with 16 I'd have plenty when I got by here, but, uh, you know, uh, a lot of them broke. Three, four, five more. At least I can mark this guy as the end portal and you know honestly what I ought to do is uh, bring an RF tools matter receiver back here I might think about that it's gonna be a long trip back all right I'm gonna head back to the base and think about that and then you know we'll get more eyes of ender and come back and we'll do something else Alright, so why don't we see if we can make some RF tool stuff to make travel easier, because running back and forth that far away, not fun. So I would like to get a charged porter, the advanced one. So let's see if we can get one of those guys. And we're going to need some matter receivers, at least a couple of them. So if I get those guys, I might have enough to do that. We'll see. Might need to get some... Uh, power cells as well So we'll need power cells and we'll need uh, Power cell cards So yeah, what, what do we need here? We're gonna need a charged porter and some blocks of redstone Well, obviously that's not difficult is the charge port difficult We need a few more ender pearls that we might have right now. I made eight eyes of ender I'm not sure where we stand with, you know, whatever. So let me go chuck this guy in the wired charger. And let's see. Grab another Ender Pearl. I think that makes four. It might be all we need. Hopefully it is. So charge porter requires that. Cool. All right. Let's go ahead and scan him. And then we want to get the advanced charge porter. Cool. So now we've got that guy. And now I want to get uh, a couple of these matter receivers. Oh, they require ender pearls too. Guess I could go hunt endermen for a while. Look, it's 2,000 blocks away. That's quite a trick. Uh, all right, let me see what else we're gonna need. Let's, let's make these power cells first because I think we're gonna need power to keep the other guy running. So we want to make sure we get power cells because they can transmit power to each other. So that's a good uh, thing to have hanging around. So we're going to want at least two of these guys. They need either simple power cells or machine frames with these things. So I guess we're going to want some of these machine frames. So let's teach you to make some of this stuff. Do we get more patterns? Yeah, okay. I thought we did. All right, so... I want to teach you how to make a power cell. 
Okay, yeah, I want to make that kind. There we go. We're going to need some prismarine. You know how to make these guys. Will you accept any kind of blue dye? Yeah, you will. So I don't want to use lapis, because lapis is kind of rare. I want to use this stuff. So let's make some more blue dye. All right, that's a good wrapping up point for today's episode. Thanks for watching. This is a glimpse into the Thomcraft room of the future. So hey, like and subscribe. You don't want to miss it. See you next time.